Did Fanatics do a good job customizing my custom Oakland Raiders game jersey? I know with the custom jersey route, especially for the people who have never done it before, you can get a little anxious and wonder like, why is it taking so long? Why is it taking four to six weeks? Or will they even make it right? Will they have any defects to it? Because these are not returnable. So if they screw up or whoever makes it screws up, you're stuck. But even if they do mess up with these big retailers, you could just let them know they screwed up and usually they take care of you. So I can understand the nerve wracking feelings that come with getting a custom jersey. And before anyone roasts me, this is not a Jamarcus Russell jersey. Just letting you know, it's even worse. It's a Terrell Pryor. As much as it pains me to say it, but I loved when the Oakland Raiders sucked just because I knew who the real diehard fans were. I mean, who is getting a Terrell Pryor jersey? He wasn't the greatest quarterback. He had a crappiest offensive line. So this man was running. Staying with this era of Raiders football, I had to get my favorite fullback. You know, fullbacks nowadays are just blocking or barely even on the field. So I got one of the best pass catching fullbacks I've ever seen in my life, Marcel Reese. This guy was pretty much a running back playing fullback. Look, oh man. It is so dope just because I don't have this in my collection. So I really did want this. Look at that 45. I don't think it looks too bad. You got your heat sealed graphics. Let's check out the details. Right here we got the back of the jersey. Doesn't look too bad. Charles, you'd be so proud of me. Starting off at the collar, you got your standardized polyester base. Then we go to the sleeves, you got 45. And then you got this right here, the Nike swoosh. And on the nameplate, you can see here, you got that heat sealed vinyl graphic. Marcel Reese. Missed this guy playing. And you got 45. So this is the one little thing I want to nitpick. I don't know who packed it, but you can see how it's like folded and wrinkled. And you know, when you have it folded crappily, and then um, when you send it out for deliveries, these delivery companies stack things on top. So these creases get really prominent then you got the same thing on the side they have that ventilated side panel that they have on the game jerseys and that is the back of the jersey then we got the front side you got those long sleeves look at this but going to the collar you got the nfl shield that little plastic material that's stitched down and then you got 45 you can see it's really wrinkled here too really creased so that's the drawback. Got your tags right there. Jock tag that I'm gonna miss because they changed it for the Vapor Fuse. I thought this always looked sick. And that is the front. Let's try it on. And this is what it looks like when you wear the jersey. So this one's a size medium. So far, I'm 5'6", 175 pounds. You can see the sleeves super long on these game jerseys. If you don't like the long sleeves, don't go for it. But I think it's pretty solid. It's your pretty much standard game jersey, except they customized it. I think it went out pretty well. The only thing I didn't like about the jersey, you can see right here in this lighting, you can see where it's folded and creased. It was a little crinkled when it came in the package. So if I was paying 170 for this, I would probably feel really bad about this because you know, it's really wrinkled and crap like that. I mean, luckily, you can grab it and like kind of goes back to form, but it looks like it's been crinkled for a while. So, but paid 120 or 130 something. It is what it is. I'm just going to take that L and turn it into a W. The thing I like about customized NFL jerseys is that it's pretty much standardized with the customization. You got numbers in the front, numbers in the back and the name on the nameplate. So I know with that like customized NBA jerseys, some names are so long, you kind of have to curve it and depending who, who customizes it, they might have a bad day and it looks a little off. With NFL ones, that nameplate is pretty much straight across. So you, all you have to do is make the letters go across. So you won't get those like weird defects like you'll see on like an uh, NBA jersey. Taking a step back and looking at it, I think it came out pretty well. I could wear this on game day and it is a jersey that I've always been wanting. So it came out for a W for me, but what do you guys think about getting these customized jerseys? Let me know in the comments below and hey, thanks again for watching and on to the next video.